This is the Saharan olive tree. There's not much known about it, but the, an institute in France found out that they are cousins of the Mediterranean olive tree. This is the fake fox. Um, they have large ears to disperse the heat on hot summer days, and the um, they are the smallest. Um, there's the smallest foxes in the world, and they have hair on their feet so they don't get burned and sink into the hot spring. That is the great which uh, graceful chameleon. This kind of chameleon likes dry places. They are pretty common in pet trade as wild caught specimens. That means they were born in the wild, na wild native habitat. Their most common size is about 16 inches. The normal colors are green, yellow, and white. The male's crests are taller than the female, but the female is taller in size. Hi. This is the dromedary camel. The dromedary camel is a known land in the Saharan Desert. The dromedary camel is known to transport goods and food to different parts of the country. The dromedary camel has four legs and two toes on each foot. The dromedary camel, people think that it stores water in its humps, but it really stores um, fat. And they have long eyelashes and they close up their nostrils so they don't get sand in their eyes or their nose. This is the Egyptian cobra. The Egyptian cobra um, has venom glands next to its eyes that transports into its fangs to bite predators. The Egyptian cobra um, venom is so deadly that it can kill an African elephant less than three hours. The, the, the Egyptian cobra um, has camouflage so that its prey won't know when it's sneaking up on it. This this is the desert sparrow. The desert sparrow um, like, likes to make nests in muddy and moist areas. People um, think that if desert sparrow makes nests um, next to you, your camps or your house, then it will be good luck. So people make holes in walls and put mud in it so that they will make nests near them. <gasps> no, it's not. Because there was hot glue in there, and then I taped it because you broke it once. Just stop. Just stop. Just, I already filmed that. Get, just get going. Sorry. Alright, so, this is the Anubis baboon. And it's it only lives till like about 45 years, and it's like the most diverse animal as it lives in many biomes across the world. And yeah, and then this is my desert eagle, and it has it mates and has youngs in the winter because that that's when their their feathers can can make them like warm. And then they they what they do is they have a really big diet so it's like they eat a lot of small mammals and then um, this is the rattlesnake and it's one of the the fewest it's one of the fewest uh, poisonous snakes in the world in, in the Sahara desert and it it could grow to like two to three feet and it only lives for like 20 to 30 years and then um this is the silver Saharan ant and and um, it, they can adapt to the harsh harsh heat very well as long as the other ant I have, which I'll get to soon. And they are very brave because they leave their colonies just to get food for their queen and their colonies. And then they're really unique insects. They stay very loyal to their to their colonies. And then um, this is the Sahara desert ant, and this is the Sahara desert ant, and it's it. It's like an ant of a of, uh, very good species of ants, and uh, it could survive up to 140 degrees in the desert. And they, scientists have been trying to figure out how they get home, and they, off many projects, they found out how. What they do is they use the, they use polarized light to get to get close to their their home, and then they 
use their surroundings to get to their home. So, yeah, that's my vibe. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's mine. So, um, just in case you don't know this already, um, the sixth graders had to do five organisms and the fifth graders had to do three. So here are mine. So here's my first one, and it's the African land snail. And they are the world's largest snails. They're 20 centimeters long. Um, they are active during the night, and they spend the daytime hiding underground for safety. And as you can see from this picture, they have unique shell markings, so I kind of tried to make it like that. Um, when there's a drought, the snail goes into summer sleep, where they seal themselves into their shell until the drought's over so they can maintain water and they like they won't die. And so yeah, that's basically the African My next one is the date palm. And they produce fruits called dates. Only the female only the female trees produce fruit, but the male trees can produce enough pollen to pollinate forty to fifty of the female trees. And they need plenty of sun to grow because, um, which is good for them because they live in um, the Sahara Desert, which is very sunny. And yeah, that's basically it about them. The ostrich, this is the ostrich. They are the world's largest bird and they have two very strong, powerful legs. And they can run really, really fast with those legs away from predators. And um, they can also kick a lot and um, they, their kicks can really harm a predator. And this is the horned viper, and it gets its name from the two horns sticking out of its head. And um, those horns can protect their eyes from injury. And also they um, burrow themselves in the sand to keep cool. So, and they're very good at camouflaging themselves. And my last organism is the spotted hyena. They are the most aggressive species of hyena in the world. And um, and um, they have long hair on their back to make them more f threatening. And they can also, they very they have a very good digestive system and strong um, jaw. So they can eat things like bones and hooves from other animals. So that was our bio. I hope you liked it, and um, please take our survey if you haven't already and answer our questions. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, sure.